lovelies welcome back to my channel today i have my fab fit fun unboxing so i didn't want to do this with battle of the boxes because it's a seasonal box so this is why it's gonna have its own uh review so i'm really excited to open this box with you guys i actually haven't even opened it myself and taken like a good look at it i just um cut it open so we're just gonna jump right into this because these boxes have a lot of things in them and what I like about the FabFitFun boxes opposed to like Ipsy and Birchbox is it's a lifestyle box so you're not limited just to makeup like there is food fitness fun <laughs> and um, you know like home decor things like that so I really do enjoy the variety that you do get in these boxes. So I'm just going to start with uh, the very first thing. So this is a Jewel Smith scarf. This is really pretty for spring. I'm not really a scarf person, um, but this is gorgeous. Like I really like this print. Um, like it's really just springy and... Yeah, it's not really soft though, but I guess like a lot of celebrities wear these. And FabFitFun actually gave a little kind of card about everything in here. So one of these scarves, I guess, um, retails for $42. So that's, you know, quite pricey. I don't think I would pay $42 for this scarf. Um, but it will be, you know, really pretty for spring. Maybe I'll re-gift it to my grandmother or something. She's really into scarves. So the next thing is this Cosmos Creation Salted Caramel Puffed Corn. And this sounds kind of yummy. Uh, they always do like a little sponsored, uh, they have some sponsored stuff. So it's not bad either for about... Um, well, I guess actually it's not that great. For this whole bag, it would be 260 calories. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know. I'll try this. It's gluten-free, and it says non-GMO uh, corn, and it's all natural. So, hopefully, you know, I guess it's better than eating a bag of chips. Uh, I don't even think I'll pro I'm probably able to get these in Canada, but it should be, you know, a nice little treat. The next thing, oh, and sorry, that actually retails for $1.49. So I guess that's not really that badly priced. Uh, the next thing, and I definitely need this, is this Intense Body Blast um, Pilates Interval Training. And it's a three DVD set. And I've actually never heard of Marathew or Stop Pilates. But I'm really excited about this because I need to get my body back into shape for the summer. I'm not kind of where I was at last year, so I need to stop slacking and get my butt to the gym. And so hopefully, you know, this will definitely help me with that. I find I learn best, or I work out the best either going to a class or actually doing one of these at the gym. So... Yeah, I think I'm going to... So there's three different levels. And I always find Pilates to be an awesome workout. Like, I can definitely feel it in my core. And actually, all like, through my whole body. But Pilates training is one of my favorite ways to train. So I'm excited for this. And I think that's it's a special FabFitFun um, edition. In my last FabFit but, uh, fun box, I got a Zumba DVD. But I just didn't really like it that much. Um... Like, I did Zumba before. I was going to become an instructor at one point. But the video just doesn't give me the energy like class does. Um, so hopefully that DVD will be better. And I guess that retails for $61. And they also um, are giving a gift certificate for $25 at Marathew.com. So I definitely hope they ship to Canada. That's one kind of issue I have with FabFitFun. Is they don't really think of their Canadian viewers some, or their Canadian subscribers. They'll be like, okay, you have this $25 gift card, but the company doesn't ship to Canada. And they have came up with like an alternative, but you have to pay $8 for them to ship it to your home. So it's 
you're losing out like it's not really fair and I think it I hope it's something you know that they're working on I actually haven't went to Marithew.com but I'm I feel like it's gonna be that scenario again let's hope it's not the next thing are these Orpha brushes so I believe these are eyeshadow brushes it says here I'm just kind of confused because this brush is really big um, yeah I guess it is um oh it says an eyeshadow brush duo but I was gonna say this is kind of big um so I guess it is like a concealer foundation brush so you can never have too many brushes I hope you know the quality of these are good I'm just gonna see kind of how soft they are can always use new brushes and I actually really like um, well I've only tried one thing from Orpha but I really enjoyed it I tried their eye eyebrow pencil and um, it was really nice I actually can't find it right now but um, yeah I like their products and these are pretty soft like I don't think it's as soft as kind of my Sonia Kashuk brush that I do use uh, but these will be good, you know, just for some spares. And they also are giving a 40% off discount for Orpha Cosmetics. So I do really want to buy some things from there. Uh, they have like a really nice concealer pa or um, contour palette that I'd like to get. Um, but the only thing is, is that they don't ship to Canada either. So I actually have emailed FabFitFun to see like what we can do about this because it, once again, it's not fair. And I really would like to try some of their products. Their liquid lipsticks look amazing too. So hopefully FabFitFun will step up once again. And maybe, like I think I actually would pay $8 shipping to get something from Orpha. Um, but I don't know, like I just wish these kind of scenarios didn't happen. But um, those brushes actually, they are valued at $45.90. Um, to be honest, for how soft they were, I don't think they're worth that amount. But I guess, you know, that's what they do retail for. The next thing are the Orly nail polishes. So I guess this one is called Cake Pop. And it's like a really pretty pale pink. It looks kind of white, I know, here. Um, but it's a pretty pale pink. I think this would be really nice for my toes. Um, just to give a little manicure. I'm really not into kind of pale pinks like this. I prefer like bright blues like I have on right now. So hopefully, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll give this away. I'm not crazy about this color. But I really do like Orly. I find like it doesn't chip. And this is really interesting too because this is a BB cream makeup for nails. I think they have like BB cream for everything now. I've had BB cream for my face, BB cream for my hair, BB cream for my body. I guess now it's going to be for my nails. So apparently this is a nail treatment to smooth and moisturize and brighten natural nails. I doubt I would really use this maybe as like a base coat. I just find it really weird that there's BB cream everything. But um, this little thing retails for $15. Would I buy it? No. <laughs> and the Cake Pop, this retails for $8.50. So, yeah, I, I don't think I would buy both of these, but I guess, you know, I have them now to try. And this is something different. I don't know if I'll use this, but it's called Growables Combination Mulch Seed and Fertilizer, and it says Cilantro Seed Pod. So... I was reading up on this and apparently there's an app too that helps you with your gardening. So apparently I just, I think, stick this in the ground and it um, helps me grow cilantro. I think this is probably actually illegal to bring over the border, to be honest. I don't think we're um, you're supposed to get like seeds or anything like that. So... Um, doing illegal stuff I guess or I'm not doing anything illegal but uh it's kind of weird that they sent this and um yeah apparently the app is called Sprout It and um it helps you like remember to like water and kind of take care of the little pod 
And um, so this retails for $1.49 and the app is a free download. And um, yeah, I, I like cilantro, but I feel like a lot of people don't. I guess it's in your genetics if you like it or not. I don't mind it at all. I know my mom can't stand it. I have another friend that can't stand it either. So I guess I will try growing my little cilantro if it ever gets nice out. And the next thing is this Palmetto Derma Collagen Bo uh, Booster and Restoration Serum. So I guess this is, um, you can put this on after cleaning and toning your face. So I guess it's gonna help like, you know, keep your skin full of collagen and also any damages I guess you get from the sun. It minimizes fine lines and wrinkles and slows down the aging process. I always get my anti-aging products from these FabFitFun boxes. I don't really know if I would use this. I guess this would retail for $48. I guess I'll probably try it once or twice, but to be honest, it's not something that I need right now in my skincare routine. So I will... Uh, I'll check this out. If I don't like it, you know, I'll probably give it away. I have to admit so far, you guys can probably tell I'm not blown away by this box. It's, um, you know, it's okay. The These are really cute, actually. So the next thing are these little coasters. So I actually don't really use coasters right now. Don't really entertain a lot. Um, I have these awesome Game of Thrones ones I won, but I haven't used those either. But these are really cute for if I ever do have some friends over. These are actually adorable. So this one is the New York one. It has like a little taxi. It's really cute. This one is the Tokyo one and it has like cherry blossoms and that's adorable as well. And there's a little Paris one too. So that's really cute. It has the Eiffel Tower and uh, Notre Dame. So that's adorable. And the Arc de Triomphe is there too. Brings me back to my Paris days. <laughs> and there's also a little London one that has the, um, has Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, and the London Eye. It's also bringing me back to London days. So I, this makes me want to travel. It, they're so cute. I actually will use these like I might not even use them as coasters they're super adorable and they're from right rifle paper co and they actually gave a uh, code too so I'll have to check out their things because these are actually adorable this might be these might be kind of my favorite thing I received in the box and according to this list they only they're only $16 so that's not really bad because they're really unique Okay, the next thing are these metal tattoo stickers. So I've been seeing like a lot of people wearing these. Um, I know I've seen like Carly Bible wearing them and um, like they've been on the Queen Pea site. So I've actually wanted to try these. Um, these ones actually look though a little different than kind of the other ones. Like they're really um, kind of like cartoony looking. I probably will give these a try though. Like they might look kind of cool for like a beach day or if I do decide to go to a music festival. It says that these retail for $36. To be honest, I don't think these retail for $36. I've seen them at Claire's for like $10 and other stores for like $12. So I think they kind of over exaggerated how much these are worth. Um, and it looks like you only get one sheet too. So yeah, I guess, you know, we're bringing back the temporary tattoos, but I really like how they're in metallic colors, so happy I didn't have to go out and buy these, but um, yeah, I'm not like overly pleased with those. And the very last thing, oh, so they just have like the gift card here, and then they have this um, thing just about that app, and I guess all you need to do for that planting thing is plant, water, and enjoy. So that was the spring FabFitFun box. I definitely need to make a note to cancel because I don't think that was worth 
the $52 that I paid for it. I actually was plan planning to cancel as soon as I saw the spoilers, but then I'd realized they had already ch like charged my card and I didn't know it was automatic. I thought I only signed up for a one-time box. So it was too late before I could do anything. So definitely like going to do that as soon as I'm done editing this video because I did not find that that box was worth it in my opinion. Apparently the grand total was $273.89. I don't think I would disagree with that. It's not worth that much to me. I wouldn't go out and buy, you know, these things. They're not really necessities. Uh, so these are kind of, this was kind of, like I said, a waste of money in my opinion, and I'm going to unsubscribe. It's just, I don't know, it's just really disappointing because, like, some of these things, like, are just things that will take up kind of, they're just going to kind of take up my time, so, and I'm sorry I'm already, like, putting away things. It's like the neat freakness in me. Um, but yeah, so that was my opinion on this box and let me know what you guys think about it if you did get one or if you didn't get it just let me know like do you think it's worth the money or what and if you did like this video be sure to subscribe and also give me a thumbs up and I'm really glad that uh, you watched this with me and shared this moment and thank you for watching.